Hey guys, tonight on Gear Geek Nation, we're going to be looking at the 2010 release of Trode's Flying Leaf. Hey guys, I'm Chris Steltz. Uh, this is Beer Geek Nation, and this is the 2010 release of Trogues uh, Brewing. It's their Flying Mouflon, Mouflon, however you say it. Um, it's their barley wine style ale. Uh, 9.6 percent, so it's a uh, high alcohol content for Trogues. I think the only one higher is the Mad Elf, which comes in at like 11 or 12, somewhere in there. And that's a Christmas release. Um, this is brewed in a pretty limited batch. Um, it's always brewed in the spring. This is actually the second time they've brewed it. Well, technically the third. Um, they have what they call their Scratch Series beers. And basically once a month or once every other month, they release a different style beer under this Scratch. Um, they're up to Scratch 28, I believe. This was actually Scratch number 4, which was back in 2007. Um, and because it had such a popular following and everyone really liked it, they're like, well, hell, let's make it into a, you know, one of our beers. Um, so they made it into a seasonal release. It was a really limited release last time it was out. And I believe it came out um, late 2008, early 2009, somewhere in there. Um, a little bit earlier than it did this year. But uh, I only managed to get a single bottle of it. Um, it was pretty limited around this area at least. You could still find it, you know, a month or two into it. Other places where you can get Trogues. But it is a pretty limited release for them. Um, it is a, a pretty good seller for them. But again, it's their Barley Wine style ale. They basically call it Nugget Nectar that they push off a cliff. Um, so it's got the basic Nugget Nectar kind of bones to it. Um, and they just amp up the malt, they amp up the hops, and you can really taste it in this. And again, being a barley wine, this is actually an excellent cellar beer. I got to have one that was six months old, and even that was just you know, a phenomenal. It was a completely different beer, phenomenal beer. Um, a lot of caramel comes out of this one, which is really cool. Usually it takes a couple of years for that to happen on a barley wine, but with this one, it came out you know within six months, that beer that we had was. So it is a really hoppy barley wine. So it's going to be considered Amer definitely an American, uh, American barley wine, whereas the English style barley wines are just you know absolute malt bombs, and they just turn the hops down way, way, way down. So with that said, uh, let's get it in the cup. I'll let you know how to smell. Oh, one more thing. This is actually like I said, this year's uh, vintage. <laughs> Use vintage. It was brewed in, on April 10th, and this is the first year that. Well, I know they didn't do it on the last ones, but they're actually marking on the bottle when they brewed it. And also on the packaging of, for the case, they put uh, April Vintage 2010. So that's pretty cool that they're doing that. They're kind of doing a uh, like a like a Bigfoot kind of release where you know Bigfoot puts the dates on the top of their bottles and different pictures and everything. But so that's pretty cool for them to do that. But um, yeah, like I said, let me get it in the glass, tell you how it smells, tell you how it tastes, and we'll give you the verdict. All right. So as soon as I turned on the camera, I popped open the uh, the cap on this one. Um, I got a gigantic whiff of hops, and I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting more of kind of a, a you know <clears throat> a, a toned down hop character. I was expecting a citrus you know um, hop character aroma to be there. I just not a, not as much as I thought it was. Um, I don't know if it's because the bottle is so fresh. It's only you know a, a week or two old. This beer actually isn't even available in stores yet. This is directly from the brewery. Um, but I just got a huge aroma of uh, just citrus hops. It was the nugget hops, I think, definitely. Just punching me in the face. Was, I was impressed, um, to say the least. And then I was just pouring it. Um, you can see it's just a, a deep, dark ruby, um, almost on, on the shade of like a brownish ruby. Um, a light, really light, off color, like an eggshell white head, two fingers. Um, really good head retention, excellent lacing. Carbonation looks like it's dead on. As far as the aroma, wow, that is it just smells extremely fresh. Um, to be honest, it almost smells like a like a Pliny the Elder kind of fresh. It's really, yeah, I'm getting a citrus, um, a lot of earthy, spicy hops. I know they use um, it's Nugget Warrior. Uh, there's a couple other here. There's five or six different hops in there. They run it through a hop bag that has uh, hop and. I want to say warrior, but I could be wrong. So they run it through, you know, they hop it, 
Then they run the beer through a, a hop back, and that's where they get a lot of the aroma from. It just um, it smells phenomenal. It smells like, if you've ever had Nugget Nectar, it smells like that times three or four. I mean, it's just so fresh smelling and citrusy and piney, and it's got really a lot of the um, earthy, spicy hops to it rather than kind of the West Coast, um, you know, peach and mango and piney and all that. It's this, this, those notes are in here, but I'm getting more of the earthy, spicy hop varieties, yeah. I didn't get any malt smell, which was surprising. Wow, that's, whew, that is good. Um, whoa. Wow. Uh, kind of speechless. Um, I didn't get any bitterness. I was expecting a lot of bitterness. This beer is 100 IBUs. Um, I hardly get any bitterness from it. A little bit in the front. As it hits the back of the tongue, I'm getting sweet, sweet malts. Um, really sweet, almost like it's brewed with like a molasses or a honey. Um, I believe it is brewed with chocolate nibs. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe not. No, I don't think it is. I think it's just the way that's the way they described it. But I'm getting, you know, it's light chocolate. It's probably from like a chocolate malt or a really dark crystal malt. Um, just based on the color alone, I'm sure there's a dark crystal malt in there. But yeah, I'm getting really sweet malts, bready malts. Um, the hop characters are definitely there. A little bit of citrus hop, little lots of earthy hops, kind of like a spicy, like a it's like a you know like a spicy kind of beer. At the same time, it's really refreshing. 9.6%, I mean, it doesn't taste that. You can definitely taste the alcohol there, but it's not. you're not getting that alcohol burn. It's really mellowed out with the, uh, the malt characters, the grain characters, all the hop characters. Um, I'm getting a little bit of the yeast characteristics in it, but you know, nothing, nothing too outstanding. It's not like a Belgian or anything. Um, you know, this does kind of remind me of a uh, kind of... If, uh, they make their Christmas beer Mad Elf. It's a it's it's actually considered a a triple, a Belgian triple. Um, it's fermented on cherries and just great stuff. It vaguely reminds me of like an IPA version of that without the uh, Mad Elf, the Belgian yeast house yeast they used. Um, it has that really it's just a really deep, complex, big beer, and it's the mouthfeel is just you know over the top and just the way a barley wine should be. And they really knocked it out of the park with this one. Um, I can't wait to try it in a couple months when it's when everything's kind of turned down and the malts are really turned up. So uh, yeah, that's this is going to be um, this is Trogues uh, Flying Mouflon. Um They are distributing it to uh, their just you know distribution area, um, New York. I think it gets to Ohio, you know, the Pennsylvania area. Um, it's going to be very limited. They don't brew a whole lot of it. It's not like a you know a, a, a uh, Sunshine Pills or Nugget Nectar where they brew a couple batches of it. They only brew one batch of this from what I understand and it so it is kind of a limited release. So if you do want a bottle you might want to, if you, and you could find it, try to get a fresh one. It's really good. Um, you might want to pick one up, trade for one on Beer Advocate or Rate Beer, however you get your trades or see if you can buy one somewhere offline uh, or online I should say. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. It is Trogues Flying Mouflon, Mouflon, however you say it. It's their barley wine ale. It's available now. Um, it, well, it's available now at the brewery. That's where I got this. It should be available, I would think, next week, late next week. I think I read they were going to ship it to distributors on the 19th, which is next Monday. So it should be available pretty soon. But yeah, it's 9.6% barley wine ale. If you've never had a barley wine, this is definitely a good place to start. Um, until next time, cheers.